there, Husky fans. It's Tyler Hartung here with Kevin Dowd bringing you the Apple Cup edition of the Husky men's basketball season. They just got done walloping the Cougars 72-49, to easily their most dominant victory of the year. So plenty of highlights to show you. Let's check them out. With the Huskies up 19-16 in the first half, it's Andrew Andrews coming off the screen and picking up a head of steam on his way to the basket and getting the bucket despite the foul. Then it's Andrews again, this time grabbing the steal from Devontae Lacey and finishing in the open court on the layup. Andrews finished with 16 points. Later, it's Andrews finding Nigel Williams-Goss on the cross-court skip pass for the wide-open three-pointer. UW up by 11 now. Watch here as the Huskies are working the clock for the last shot of the half, and Darren Johnson draws the defense into the key and finds C.J. Wilcox for the deep ball as time expires. Washington takes a 36-24 lead into the locker room at halftime. It was Williams Goss leading the way for the Huskies in this one, and here he is taking the pass from Wilcox, driving the baseline, and finishing the layup through the contact. The true freshman ended the night with 17 points and 12 rebounds. On the very next possession, the Huskies run the exact same play, but this time Wilcox hits Andrews, who takes two big steps through the defense, and one as the layup falls. Huskies lead 43-33. Williams, Goss, and Andrews displayed some great chemistry in this one. Evidence here as Andrews throws the lob to Nigel for the easy lay-in. 16.40 left to play in the second half now. And here's Nigel again, jumping into the passing lane for the steal and showing some hops as he gets up for the breakaway jam. Washington leading by 11, 55-44. Speaking of dunks, here's another one for you as Johnson strips the ball and then gets rewarded with the outlet pass for the thunderous throwdown to put the dogs up by 18. Not much else to say about this one as the Huskies crush the Cougars 72-49 to salvage a 1-1 split in the season series and bring their conference record to 500. So there you guys have it. Huskies beat the Cougars 72-49. Not much competition in this one. The stars of the show, Nigel Williams-Goss, he was on triple-double alert tonight. 17 points, 12 rebounds, and 4 assists. But he wasn't alone. Andrew Andrews, his fellow backcourt mate, had 16 points, 9 rebounds, and 4 assists. So, Kevin, what allowed the UW guards to just eat the Cougars alive tonight? I mean, yeah, the point guards definitely led the way. And it started early, you know, the, from the start, they kind of, it seemed like there was a, a little bit of an edge to the Huskies that the Cougars, Cougars weren't matching. Uh, Nigel Williams-Goss came out, and as we were saying a couple minutes ago, it seemed like he had five rebounds in the first couple minutes of the game, uh, just scoring points. Just the, the aggression out of them, really, I think, was, was big in terms of getting the Husky offense on track. Um, and really, this is probably the first time all season when C.J. Wilcox has had a, had a down game, and it really didn't matter that they had enough, uh, enough firepower outside of him to get it done. But, so, yeah, big game for the point guards. So that marks back-to-back -back victories for the Huskies, where they won by more than 20 points. Seems like they're really starting to click at the right time, heading into the Pac-12 tournament in a couple weeks here. And Coach Lorenzo Romar touching that a bit in his post-game press conference. You, <laughs> that's what you would want. You know, if you could script it that way, you, you want to be playing your best by the end of the year. And uh, I don't know if it's three of our last four, four of our last five have been wins, and we I just think we're playing a lot better basketball. Everyone's comfortable with what they're doing, what their roles are. And I think we've settled in that way as of February 28th. So Thursday is a whole different night. we got to continue to do what we're doing. All right, Kev, so just a week ago, things were looking so great for the Huskies. They were in a pretty bad skid. But now with this UCLA game coming up, then USC in the Pac-12 tournament, is there any reason to change your expectations for this team going forward? You know, that's a good question. I, I kind of hate to be the pessimist, like I feel like I always am. But I mean, as you said, it has just been a week, and we had a, we had three months of the, or three weeks of data right before that where they lost five games out of six. So, I mean, there are sure if the team if they play like they did tonight and the, against UCLA on Thursday, and then going into the Pac-12 tournament, if Nigel and, and Andrew Andrews can play like they did tonight, sure they can they can win some games. But I think we knew that already. We knew that if if the guys besides C.J. Wilcox came out and played really well, that they could beat some teams that that maybe they shouldn't on paper, but I, I don't think that we can do any sort of wholesale reassessment of the team's chances here. They, they've played well the last week, but they're, they're still going to have to play really well if they, uh, they won't have much of a postseason. All right, so as we stated earlier, this is a pretty dominant win by the Huskies tonight. But Kevin, it's no secret that Washington State isn't the toughest of opponents coming in sure. here. So how much of tonight's win do you think was due to the Huskies playing well, and how much do you think was due to Washington State just not being very good? Well, I mean, it's tough to try to like pull a number out of thin air to put on it, but I, I certainly think that the, the Cougars uh, 
I mean, th th to begin with, as you said, they're not not beating the world up so far this season. And they didn't really they didn't play their best game tonight. DJ Shelton, one of their better players, had the uh, an 0 for 10 night from three, which you don't see too often. And I, I mean, outside of Devontae Lacey, they just didn't have a lot going on. Uh, Huskies played well, but you know, if they play this exact same game against UCLA on Thursday, I think it will be a much closer ball game. I think that would be they'd probably be right with UCLA if they could play like this again next week. So as Kevin said, we got UCLA coming up this Thursday night, March 6th at 6 p.m. here at Heck Ed. And that's when we'll see you next time. And until then, I'm Tyler Hartung here with Kevin Dowd. Thanks for watching.